Right then, claw check episode 102. We're in Barmer for the first time in five years, and it has upgraded in here. Like all the old like machines are gone, except this one. It's all like e-claws now. So fair dues, like there's no mammoth. So unfortunately, Jason, I can't remake a particular quote from a particular video I made in 2017. So this is still here. Whether it starts with Guanxing music, I don't know. I hope so. Oh, rip, it's mute. Sad times. When I came in 2017, that had sound, so that's broken now, unfortunately. Teaser as well. Oh, didn't grab. Yeah. I was kind of hoping this, at the very least, this is start the Grand Sheen music, but unfortunately that's not the case, and it's drifty as well, what the hell. It's being very weird. I'm gonna run out of time. With one more go to even it out because everything else is 30 pence to go. Oh, gotta go for 10 pence there, never mind. So look there, it's drifting out, it wasn't even touching the. This candy is has issues. Like pretty much every arcade in the UK now, they also have a shiny cube here now, so valid, I guess. Got oh, over 20 pence, I think it's supposed to be 30p. Try it anyway. Seems a little bit weak. Try again. Yeah, these ones are 30 pence ago. I think like everything except the candy eating is 30p. It's like all the old machines, apart from the mammoth, all used to, ooh. It used to be like 20 years ago, like the old mega cranes and stuff and the toughest they used to have here, which of course were all gone now, sadly. And, the man and they like had some weird um, machine that played the siren noise I was hoping to play again, which unfortunately that has also gone. So it's like been completely upgraded in here, which is good. I like to see arcades upgrade, especially small ones like this. There's another arcade on the other side of the fair that we'll also give a try then that's really it in Barmouth but we're also going to a place called Fairbourne as well where there's an arcade there I don't know what it's like but I'll see later on yes please ooh teaser I will try that again and don't know will I try that no they seem a bit too big for the floor in all honesty so this might be the best, best bet so I'll go and try the e claws as well. Oh, that's gone weak. Might come back. Though. So instead of having mega cranes here, they now have e claws. Well, it was like me megas and topper cranes mainly, including Quattro. So I know Reese will probably be upset to know that those have been removed. So, um, so now it's just e claws. So fair enough, I guess. So we're trying the one with Sonic in to start with this. A, oh, the, I thought there was a road over there, it's just a bad memory. Yeah. So, yeah, and the other arcade has an EX1 in there too, uh, and again, just declaws in some fun zones, so I don't chase some of all those. So, it's like variety really isn't huge here, but you know, I won't complain about e claws, you know. You don't see them in loads like little arcades like this because. They are quite pricey, so... But the signs on look like the same ones from Tenpin and Namco run those, so... I don't think Namco run these, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who runs these. It might be new owners from last time, who knows? You know? Like, because it's completely different here now, machine-wise, so... Yeah. Try, try the light here one with Zerg in it. That's who we're trying for anyway, Zerg. One, grab that. Ooh, no. Well, unlike before, where it actually was just mega cranes, at least these are actually picking them up because those mega cranes were quite weak. And also, they had the magnet, showman magnet crane and mammoth crane too. So, which those, by the way, are also gone. So, like all like the old cranes except Candy Eden are gone, sadly. So it's like mainly all just e flow here now. Try this one again, then I'll try some other things on the other side of the arcade, and then 
probably go to the other arcades here in Barmouth. Yes, so never mind. Also left the Whitsford's Gold Cup in here too. Uh, strange, but I'll take that, I guess. They're all right machines. Oh, I think this one might not be accepting money, which is the only one I wanted to try. So instead, we'll try this um, Baby Yoda one. This Shining Cube, we'll give it a quid, probably. Then the other arcades. Oh, that is swinging way too much. Please swing the correct way. Thank you very much. Be ready to pay out. That works. Oh, only get three goes. That uh, doesn't have the four plays for a pound thing, but we'll sort that. There were four tries. This was a teaser, so hopefully we'll get it. Ooh, just throwing it away, unfortunately. One, get that. Ooh, you teaser. You absolute teaser. That bounced the other way, that would have been ours. Oh, no. Very tempted to put more in it. We love a good teaser crane, don't we? Yeah. That did it. We didn't quite see it on camera, unfortunately, but that was a win. There we go. Try this side briefly. Although the claw looks tiny there. It might pick them up still, I don't know. Please. Not quite, I think. If we want a reversible octopus, um, it's this side we want to be trying. Because this one has got a bigger claw. Why they haven't changed it on that side, I'm unsure of. But... Nah, can't go for 20p there. Might as well just put the um, another go as we're on. Slow. It's probably to prevent overpay. Oh, weak. Way to waste 50p. Go for this one, because it's pink. See there, yeah, that, that won't overpay like that. That's a wise setting, to be honest. In the other arcade where it's E claws as well. Um, let's give these a try. So these E claws, if I remember right, they were here last time too, so. Yeah. Quite proper. That E3 always, well not always, but I had E4 here last time I was here. For the other arcade, it must be different owners I think. Yeah, the signs are different too. So it's just, though, I think the other arcade must have got bought out or something, or they just upgraded, I'm not sure. That's a bit heavy for the floor to be honest, so I might not try this one again. Try this panda one. That's a bit too far to the front. So, what are we going to do? Try it again. Nearly out of 10 pieces, I've got like two pound coins. So, then after that, I can either get more change or not. Depends how we get on. Ooh. I am mute claw as well. Try this octopus side as well. And there's another one over there, I might try this. Not a lot in this arcade either, to be honest. They're only small arcades, but I figured come back and see how like the arcades are now, because I've not been for years. Not actually properly filmed Claw Track here either. The only time I ever included Barmouth was from some old footage I had in 2016. So nice to come and get some up-to-date one. Up-to-date footage, so there we go. Here we go. Try and this one. Attempt it. Might get that. Maybe we won't. No. It's weird that this arcade has their e claws mute. I don't know why they do that, but they cash, crash craze. I, I don't know how you say that. Cash crazy. I think that's supposed to say, but it's like a euro or something there. 
by Beef Group, or at least they distribute it, I don't know. So how this works, I think, insert money, game automatically starts, you can use control not to keep capsule in green target zone, to win, keep capsule in the green zone until time reaches zero. Game ends if the capsule enters the red zone. I'm probably going to suck at this because I've never played it before, but let's um, do it. Trying, mate. Get ready, go! Okay. I'm not gonna get it in the end. Um, hopefully, not gonna get it in the red. Don't touch the red! I'm trying not to, like, but it's not easy. Stay in the green! What do you know? <laughs> Got a capsule and there's some like zebra thing in it, but there we go. That'll do for my musical chairs machine because I need capsules anyway. I guess those suck so bad at this. That was, um, all right. I like that. And I've got footage of it as well because not a lot of people do. So there you go, quite a random machine. Waves have one as well, but I saw this one here and played this one. So I might go try the one if we're starting soon. I'll give it another pound, which will only get me three goes, but hey, um, And then I might get another five at the bar before I go to um, Fairborn. I'm most likely going to try like Cush Crazy one too. Um, maybe, just maybe. So if I um, how to proper concentrate that and film at the same time, so yeah, might be challenging, that might have just been beginner's luck, who knows. Uh, but I want to try it again, so I will. But before I'm going to give this one more go, try Black Panda, hopefully it'll pay out, maybe not. Right, going to try it again. on the video but on the uh, like the game itself don't touch the red not gonna touch the red hopefully it's very sensitive so you have to be quite careful so that's probably why it's a pound of go because you know it is easy if you know what you're doing like Win again. Win. So, like, what's interesting now? What I like is it just shoots up there. It was still not shoot. And it's uh, yeah, it was half a capsule there in there already. I think. Um, yeah, it's like half a capsule already. But that's no good to me. Uh, so we get uh, another capsule. I, nice EX one. We'll give this one a go as well. Also, no four goes for a car there, but it's alright. Ironically, this is the one that's not mute. Usually in some arcades, they are mute. Not all the time, but more common than E-Claws anyway. It's usually E-Claws that always have sound. And EX ones that can be mute. So very ironically, it's the other way around here. So, because this EX one's got sound, but not the E-Claws. But in this arcade, there's, there's a sound on the E-Claws in the other arcades, right. I'm doing this is claw machine, cash credits, cash crazy and that. Claw machine, cash crazy, so back, like back and forth, so I'm going back there. Right. So it goes up there, so it's like a air pressure, so you have to control the knob like this, you know, to make sure it doesn't go into the red zone, because if it does, then you lose. Not going to demonstrate how, because that would be a waste of a quiz, but... It's like this news about so you kind of like control the ball. It's like make sure it does not go into the, like the red zone. It's like Don't touch the red. if it does go in the red, then you lose, and the game will automatically stop. It's like you gotta like not let it go in the red. Which Five, I think four, we smashed that again. Two, one. You're the best. You win. 
Right, that's three in a row. Never played this game before, but I've never lost on this game before. No plan to. There's another capsule for musical chairs. So we came back to this arcade. I might as well just spend all the pounds I'm going to spend for the arcade. Decided I'm going to spend the rest of it for ten pounds. Something else about. We got a fair one. So four pounds on the claws. So then I'm going back to that cash crazy one. I I love that game. So this one's out soon, so we can't play that one. I'll try that one here again. I might get a, a fluke win or lower payout. Who knows? And I can't go for. Four goes there, so it's almost like you know, put like two more pounds in, it's just even itself out. Oh, another, no, almost another win. I know I've already got that tiger thing, but you know, a win's a win, and that's like the closest to the shoot. So, but despite what I was going to do back and forth stuff to kind of like, I don't know, just give them video variety so I'm not stuck at one machine for too long, you know, made more sense rather than running back and forth to each arcade because there's no other floors in that arcade that I want to try now. Tried all the ones I want to, so um, yeah, so I thought I'd come back here because this, this has got the better like variety of floors. You've got Shining Cube here and then the equals of Sam. No offense to the other arcade by the way. Not uh, sure what to do. Uh, I'll go to that Sonic with the three pounds. If I win beforehand with that, I'll come back to this. So I'll stick with this one unless I win. Um, so how that then? If I win before the three pounds, I'll use like whatever stuff over for another crane or shining cube, like I said, but I'm not sure. Um, once that's all spent up, um, I will go back to that. Crazy Cash Crazy, I keep forgetting this name. It's a brilliant machine, I love it. Um, I know that Waves in Prestatin have one, so I'll definitely be going there and playing that one as well. Um, so I guess I'm lucky in a way, and I never appreciated it enough. If I've got a machine like that quite close to me, it's like, I don't know, like I say, I know all the stuff in the bathroom, so I don't like how you can rig them and stuff, but maybe the Prestatin one might have been set harder, but I could definitely go and try it anyway. It's like capsules and stuff, and I need them for my musical chairs machine, so... Great, come on. Sonic, please be ready. Ooh, it's rigging a lot better now, so I don't know whether it, that's like the sign is ready. You know, because you know, sometimes it is like randomised, but... Like, there's been some equals I've played where the rigging's like almost brilliant, you know, and it's been close to payout than it like, has paid out, so I don't know. I've got to be careful not to hit the shoe because it's like that close. Bingo. It's a replay there when I maybe should not have done. Yeah, that, that might not grab him too well now. Alright. Final pound now, then we're going back to Cash Crazy for three more plays. Provided I win every time, which I should, that'll be three more capsules for musical chairs. It's like, if you concentrate, it's easy. Like, you know, just don't let the capsule go into the red zone, otherwise you will lose. So, yeah. So, like, if you can concentrate enough, you'll win. Unlike here, where I'm hitting the shoe. Right. I'm gonna go for that one over there. Okay, let's go. I know you're supposed to go for ones like close to the shoe, but on this one it won't matter, you know, which one you go for, it has to be ready to pay out. So, but no, well, we'll go to Cash Crazy where we'll win. So, I'll see you over there. Crazy. Try that again. Very close then. Like you're, if you're in the orange bit, but um, 
you could, if you go into the red at all, you lose. Or like now, because I won. There we go. Shake it, though, like, up there, goes down that pipe. And there you go, that is how you win. Nice. What a spang I am. It's not cash, cash crazy, it's cash crazy. Uh, please get a joke then, but I just did now because it says on there when I should have read on the LCD display. Right, let's try it again. So this is what we could win if um, we do well enough. And I nearly messed up there. win on this so we've had six from this and then one from our shining cubes so very good so we'll go to fairborn now and see what's in store there which as far as where there's one arcade we'll just see what it's like great fairborn there's only one little arcade here which is part of like a cafe as well but, uh, couldn't spot this in a million years look there's a pingu toy in there pinga starting with crazy toy too might try and dig out that pinga to be honest there we go. Very interesting place. So, yeah, this is in Fairborn. Penrick Amusements, I think it's called. Probably butchered that. I'm terrible at Welsh pronunciations, so... Um, yeah. That's completely out of the way. You wouldn't know this was here, so... You no, know, we found this by... We found this by, you know, just going on Google, looking at arcades near Bar Barmouth. So. Right. Ooh. Decent rigging, I'll give him that. Yeah, this one. Low pitch. Interesting. That's probably the strongest one though, so I might stick to the crazy toy too. Um, see if this one's any better. There's some prize redemption stuff here too that I'm going to try, so... It's an interesting place, right, yeah. to say the least. Definitely something out of the ordinary. See, there's like an ice cream parlour, um, you know, at the front. It's like... It's, yeah, I think, claw-wise, we're going to stick to that crazy toy too. Crazy Toy 2. Some weird writing on the um, thing there. Master, take me home. What the f? Uh, Crazy Toy 2's, I guess, got the Shining Cube music, so that's probably the most defining feature about this particular unit. That and the rigging is outstanding. I um, wonder how much these stackers are though. Pound the go. Um, that one, anyway, probably the same one. So here it's like the claw machines are. Uh, to be a go, but the other price was entry so seems to be like a pound a go, so so well, I've got like a fiver and ten pences, maybe for, for claws, well all that for and so probably this and we'll also be trying some prize redemption stuff as well, might as well. So, 
think I may have the record of being the first one to film in here, I don't know. Um, not been told to do otherwise, so I think it might be okay, it probably is here. We'll just see if anyone says anything. Um, so it's strong if you have a good grab, that's what it is. So, so Tongli Animation, so they, they must be the company that makes Crazy Toy 2, because I was unsure. Um, so for those who don't know, it's Tongli Animation, learn something new every day. So that Pingu one's a bit buried there. So I think the best bet is likely the Spider-Man one. Try Prayer's Redemption Machine real fast. This one is set on 50 pence to go. So it's a stacker, of course. Oh, didn't, didn't um, quite do so well there. I suppose very much like Cash Craze, you've got to pay attention here. Oh, didn't quite do so well there, so. Rather than just trying to focus on like how I'm doing with the camera, I just need to focus like on the game itself. This is probably the easiest way of going about it. Against the wall. Oh, not quite impressed it too soon. Come back in a moment. Some old prizes in this too, like Smurfs, that's like 2011 prizes there, so quite interesting. Yeah, that's a good clamp there. Ooh. Once again, very good rigging. It's like Tongli animation myself, like something to do with Palkai. This has got like the Shining Cube music, and I'm certain Palkai makes Shining Cube, they do, yeah. I. So it's like got Palkai like stuff inside, so it must like be associated with them somehow. Ooh, good rigging, very good. Stuck her once again. Oh, crushed there against the wall, so we'll lose them here. Ah, not doing this by the middle anymore. I've been the best at stocker. Um, just kind of keep it in the middle. Just got to be fast about it. Of course, to make it more difficult, it does get faster. What the hell? So that wasn't minor prize, was it? Though? Gonna continue anyway. Skips. Knew that. Kind of thought that was gonna happen. Oh well. Give us another attempt for major prize, of course. Nope, messed up there. Minor prize, um, don't want any of this, so we're going to continue with something better. Ooh, here we go. Skipped, 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 skipped. So close now, of course, and I've got like the rest of the 10 pieces I've got, I'm going to use on Stacker. Um, and then Pound Coys I'll use on this. So, not a lot in this arcade, but it's a very interesting one anyway. Ooh. Rigging, um, very good on that. So, I shall be continuing. If you get close enough to the shoot, might be able to potentially win it by fluke. I know these things don't have um, exactly stellar um, rigging systems and other pay fail saves like the one or something would have so and I'm pretty certain this is not one fitted this will have a built-in rigging system 
because these kind of machines do, or most modern machines. Teaser. It's a teaser and it's a geezer, as I said in, was it episode 12, reusing that quote to keep Jason and Felix happy. I mean, that's got that. Oh, no, 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 does it now? Ooh, what do I do? Do I sacrifice one of my goes of stacker? Of course I do. I'm gonna win that. Ooh, go for 20p there. That's got that. Or, or does it now? Give that another try. And if not, I can put a pound coin in and I hope so. I'll get it. Just don't ruin that now, please. Oh, it's a bugger that. Getting another quid, then the other one can go and stack it, I guess. Poor Pounder, watch me get that light first try now. There we go. Aha. Absolutely typical, but at least we got a win, so another claw win. Because majority of today's wins have been from cash carries and barmer, so yeah. Joe, you know we'll go for the slammer because it's pink. Yeah. So I think the thing is, it's not like super strong, but it's not like really weak either. I think how it is, is you have to get a good grab on them. Um, if you get a good enough clamp, it'll pick the prize up. So it's nothing else I really want. So I'm going to try for Pinga. It's probably not going to pick her up there. Yeah. But we've got to win anyway, so I'm, that's fine by me. So I'm going to go for what else now? Might as well go for something the claw's actually going to grab, so that um, llama thing, I think. Mm, maybe not. However, we did manage to get a win, which I'm happy with. This um, Spider Man. Alright, then, last play then. So, the last two plays actually, so put a pound into two goes playing this stacker to finish it all off. Hopefully we'll win, but that's red. That's on the grounds whether it's due to pay out or not. So, we just have to play, get to the top to begin with, and then see. So, we got to minor prize already, that's good. So, have to just keep going, which we didn't then, it was a bit too fast. That, I don't think that was a rig. At the very top then, when it was on major prize, that was a rig, so I could tell. So, I'm going to let us go. We'll go again. And that will conclude the episode. I'll spend the 10p's on like the 2p machines there, which I probably won't include in the claw track, even though I've included prize redemption. So, uh, yeah. I think I'll just call it a day here with this episode um, once I'm done on this. Maybe we might be able to finish it off with him. We could do it if we press select prize, but I'm not going to do that. So I want um, when there's like actual plush toys at stake that I kind of want, which I didn't get, then um, yeah, I would have continued, but no. So that concludes our episode in, of Claw Trek in Barmouth and Fairbourne. So only small arcades, but I haven't been to Barmouth in five years and wanted to go back. And I've also never been to Fairbourne before, and it's only like a small arcade, I'll show you it like. you got the ice cream parlour over there at the front, and you've just got some machines at the back here, so... It's not the world's biggest arcade or anything, but... Yeah, I got a win from here, so I'm happy, and they've got some cool machines. So anyway, I'll be wrapping it up now for this episode of Claw Trek. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.